Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over the best way to AFK fish without any treasure items and see if it's still worth doing in 2024. We'll focus on the basic everyday fishing you can always do, but also talk about event fishing like Termian Beach and other fishing events. The first thing we'll talk about is how fishing works in BDO, then we'll talk about the best place to AFK fish, the best setup, and the amount of silver you can make per hour on average, and finally, special event fishing like Termian Beach and other small tips. So, how does fishing work? If you haven't already started fishing, it's extremely easy to get into now. You simply hold apostrophe or click the stance button next to your farrier potions to swap to fishing. You no longer need a beginner fishing rod equipped as your character will always be able to fish with the same stats as a beginner rod. You can upgrade your fishing rod later, but we'll talk about that in the gearing section. Right now, all you have to do to begin fishing is be in the fishing stance, press spacebar while looking at the water to begin fishing. So now that we know how to fish, let's talk about some fishing mechanics like the amount of time it takes to fish. There are two main time periods of fishing. Reducing either of these times will increase the speed in which you fish, which will increase your silver per hour and items that you get. The first time period is the speed in which the fish bites the fishing hook. Once the fish bites the fishing hook, a fishing speech bubble will appear above your head. The time it takes for a fish to bite your hook is affected by where you fish and the fishing resources in that place currently. If the fishing resources is abundant, you'll have the maximum speed at the current place, and if it's exhausted, you'll have the minimum speed at that current place. Some places, it may be so slow that even if you have abundant fishing resources, it'll still take longer than other areas with exhausted resources. Again, the fishing resource only affects whether you fish at the maximum or minimum speed in that area that you're fishing in. It doesn't change that area's fishing speed. One of the fastest places to fish is the middle of the ocean, but that's not as practical for most players. You can also reduce this time by having fishing plus 5 in the stats menu. Once you get past the first time period, you can manually fish up the fish by playing a small mini game. However, most players aren't likely going to be manually fishing, so that brings us to the second time period. The second time period is the time it takes for your character to automatically fish up a fish once it's on the hook. This time is about 3 minutes and can be reduced with auto fishing time reduction items. We'll go over what those items are in the gearing portion, just know for now that the second portion isn't affected by where you fish or the fishing resources, those things only affect the first time period of getting the fish onto the hook. So that brings us to the question of where to AFK fish if you want to reduce the time it takes for a fish to get on your hook. There are many good spots like Tooth Fairy Cabin or Ross and Magoria Sea if you have a boat or the archaeologist map. But for this video, we're going to talk about the Velia Hotspot. In my opinion, the Velia Hotspot is one of the highest silver per hour spots and it's extremely easy to fish in. If you are interested in other spots, feel free to try them out for yourself, it's always fun to discover new things. However, for this part of the video, we're going to talk about the Velia Hotspot. Now the Velia Hotspot is the zone right to the west of Velia where you are in a safe zone and you get a great mix of fish. The fishing time is also relatively low compared to other spots. The only big downside is if you fish in the zone, the resources are usually always exhausted which gives you the minimum fishing time for the Velia Hotspot. However, in this next portion, I'll show you how to get abundant resources fishing inside the Velia Hotspot even if your character is above level 50. The first easiest way is just to fish outside of the zone where you are in combat, but still in the area of the Velia Hotspot to get the increased fishing speed and mix of fish. Make sure you are pretty close to the Velia Hotspot and not too far east, as you will be outside of the Velia Hotspot zone if you are too far east. This method is only viable if you are level 49 or lower, in Olvia servers, or in the Season servers. However, what if you are level 50 or above? You can still use an interesting cheese method where you sit at the edge of the safe zone where people cannot flag and hit you, but be facing outside the zone and have your fishing rod fish outside the zone. Your fishing bobber must be outside of the zone for this method to work. This way, even if it says exhausted on the top of your screen, you still get the abundant resources as it's based on where your fishing float hits. You can test this by timing the fishing outside of the zone, timing the fishing inside the zone, and timing the fishing where you're sitting inside of the zone but having your bobber be outside of the zone. Again, I may use the words float, bobber, interchangeably, but they're basically the same thing. 
just a little floaty circle thing on the water when you're fishing. Again, what this does is instead of getting exhausted resources, you get abundant resources, which only affects the first portion of fishing time that we talked about, the time it takes for fish bubble to pop up, and not the AFK fishing time. This still can really heavily affect the amount of fish you get per hour. Now some areas you may not be able to do this, but you can definitely do this in the Velia hotspot area. To show an example, we did this test in the Termian Beach event. Because the Termian Beach is currently running, the test was shot in Termian Beach as even inside the Velia hotspot right now, the fishing is abundant as everyone is fishing in Termian Beach. However, it uses the exact same idea where we sit on the outskirts of the zone and fish out. As you can see, while I fish outside of the zone, it takes about 54 seconds to get a fish. And this is even with the Termian Beach outside of zone only being average and not abundant. If it was abundant, it would be even faster. Inside of the zone, however, it takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds to get the fishing bubble. If I fish inside the zone, even though it says exhausted on the top, I get the reduced time of fishing outside of the zone being about 55 seconds. Again, my character is fishing inside of the zone so it can't be attacked, but my bobber is outside of the zone so he gets the fishing time of outside of the zone. You can test this for yourself in any area that is exhausted and has an out of zone component. Do keep in mind that there's always a pretty high variance when fishing, as sometimes in the exhausted Termian Beach zone, I've gone in to take up to 2 minutes and as low as 1 minute and 10 seconds. But in general, it will always be faster if you are outside the zone, where there is a more resources or sitting in the zone and using the out of zone cheese that we are talking about. It is surprising how many players do not take advantage of this and sit inside the zone, even though you can do this on level 50 characters or above. Again, keep in mind that even though this was shot in Termian Beach, this can be done the exact same way in Velia, where you sit as close to out of the zone as possible and fish outside of the zone. To do this, I usually like having my character light up red going outside of the zone, then slowly sneak back into the zone until I'm green and then start fishing while looking outside. So now that we know the best place and method to AFK fish, we still need to see what gear we need to reduce the fishing time as much as possible and get the best fish. The first thing to be sure of is to have plus 5 fishing. You can get fishing from meals, guild buffs, fishing clothes, and the buff in Velia and multiple other things. If you are in a guild with max fishing and wearing any type of fishing clothes, you should be at plus 5 fishing. For rods, I prefer the Balanos rods as I'm usually always AFK fishing, so reducing the auto fishing time period is really nice. You can also brand these Balanos rods, so do keep that in mind if you need more durability for longer fishing sessions. For floats, I simply use the maple float to increase the chances of fish. There is some discussion that maple floats can hurt the fishing pool during events like Termian Beach, but there has been so many changes and base fish give so much more silver now that I just use maple floats anyways. If you want to test yourself, just try fishing with a maple float and without a maple float during Termian Beach. But in Velia, Maple Float is always going to be better. I also have my Maple Float branded to increase its durability. I also use the pets that reduce auto fishing time. The one I use is the Polar Bear, but you can use the Marmot, Penguin, or any other pet that reduces auto fishing time. If you want to be super crazy, since auto fishing pets don't stack, you can use other pets like Durability Reduction to reduce the amount of time it takes for your Fishing Rod, Maple Float, and Creo's Chair to reduce durability. However, this is really niche and honestly not that big of a deal, so I just use one polar bear. Now in general, the more mastery you have, the better fish you get. You get increasing amounts of prize fish catch for every 50 mastery that you have. This increases the chance of getting orange fish and ancient relic shards. For accessories and clothing, you of course just want as high of a mastery that you can get. Of course, mastery doesn't increase fishing silver per hour by that much, so just get as high as you can without breaking the bank. I do other life skilling, so I do have modest accessories, but even Logia or the free blue life skill accessories are really good. For clothing, I just use the blue Jaranoa one, but of course, if you can afford Monos or Logia, just use those. Again, the reason I haven't upgraded is that fishing mastery isn't really that amazing, so it's never been that worth it to me. Next, I use the auto fishing time reduction, fishing light stones, of course, to reduce my auto fishing time and get mastery and experience. This is definitely one of the better light stone sets for fishing. Beyond mastery though, I use the Balakas lunchboxes to reduce AFK fishing time. 
You can use the orange or yellow grade ones. The orange grades are often really expensive, so I do prefer the yellow ones since I have fairies auto-popping them every time they run out. If you don't have the fairy auto-pop, then you can always just use the orange ones overnight as they last for 10 hours each. Finally, I use Creo's chair to get that extra mastery and reduce fishing time for cheap. These can be gotten by trading in the bottles you get for fishing at Creo, so they're really easy to get. So, now that we know the best gear to use, what is the average silver per hour I get at Velia, and how can I affect the silver per hour? Well, in general, I get around 35 to 40 million silver per hour when I fish with my current fishing setup in Velia. Now, how do I sell my fish to get the silver per hour? After I have a decent amount of fish, I'll first go to the Imperial Delivery to deliver as much fish as I can. If there isn't enough to sell in Velia, you can always go to another Imperial Fisher like the one in Glish or Valencia. Using Magnus to go to Valencia is completely fine as it's only 5 million silver and that Imperial Delivery guy is almost always open. Do keep in mind that Bidu has changed it so you can use Magnus while you have fish in your inventory, so just do that. After you are in Valencia, you simply teleport to the Land of the Morning Light to sell all the other fish that can't be sold to the Imperial Delivery guy. The downside of Imperial Delivery is that you need to exchange the seals to certain items, like the Golden Keys, to then sell on the Central Market. These items can go up or down, so the silver per hour will vary if you do Imperial Delivery. In general though, I find Imperial Delivery to add 2-3 to three million silver per hour, if I do them rather than just selling all my fish to the Land of the Morning Light. If you can't be bothered, you can just sell all your fish to the Land of the Morning Light trader, but you'll likely get 32 to 34 million silver per hour on average rather than 35 to 40 million silver per hour. A big portion of the silver per hour is going to be the Orange Sea Star, so if you are unlucky or you only fish for an hour or two, you may get a lot less silver if you don't get any Orange Sea Stars. However, in the long run with decent gear, your silver per hour will go towards 35 million an hour. This is probably the biggest part that Mastery plays as the chances of getting the C star is higher with more Mastery. So all in all, to get 35 million an hour, use the gear in the video, fish in Velia hotspot either outside of the zone where the resources are abundant, or using the out of zone cheese where you sit in zone but your bobber is outside the zone. Then, Imperial deliver all the fish that you can and sell the non imperial fish to the Land of the Morning Light trade manager for the highest trade bonus. If you do all these steps, you should get 35 to 40 million silver an hour without an event. Now, next part of this video, we'll talk about some inventory management tips and the event fishing like Termian Beach. So, what if you don't have enough inventory to AFK fish? This section will talk about some inventory management tips. The first thing is of course going to be removing white, green, blue, and yellow grade fish. I would recommend most people just remove white and green fish as it just clogs up way too much room. After that, blue fish is okay to keep, but if you don't have enough inventory space, removing them is fine. You need to be Professional Plus to remove white and green, Artisan to remove blue fish, and Master to remove yellow fish. I would recommend most people keep yellow fish. There's also a miraculous fish tank that adds 50 slots and increases the time to spoil for fishes in that tank. You can get this from quick quests in the underwater sea palace so go ahead and do that. This extra 50 slots can let almost everyone keep yellow fish and for players with extra slots also keep blue fish. Again, it's not a big deal if you need to remove green and white fish, even I do that with 192 slots. Blue fishes, I do find that I can keep them, as even though they don't add too much silver, it's still more than nothing. Feel free to remove these though if you're fishing for a really long time or just don't have enough slots. So now we're going to move on to the events. We already showed how you can fish outside the zone in Termian Beach, just go as east as possible where the fence is. Termian Beach can add a ton of silver per hour as even though you're forced to a certain spot, the event fish more than covers that. In general, using all the tips and the out of zone cheese, I get around 50 million silver an hour so it's definitely better than fishing in Velia. Your fish also don't expire so it's not as difficult to manage. In Termian Beach, it is a little more annoying to get to the land of the morning light, but what I do is take the portal to the underwater sea palace, then teleport to Nampomudu village. After that, you can take the well to teleport to an imperial fish delivery or just sell all your fish in the land of the morning light. Finally, I just take the teleporter back to the Sea Palace and then to Termian Beach. Definitely more annoying, but it's still worth it to at least sell all your fish in Land of the Morning Light rather than selling your fish at the fish vendor at Termian Beach. 
Other fishing events do sometimes pop up where you just get bonus seals while fishing. These aren't really that big of a deal as you can still fish in Valley Hotspot, it will just add a lot more silver per hour than usual. These events can range from 10 to 20 million silver extra per hour. Finally, before we mention whether AFK fishing is worth it or not, of course we have to mention fishing in Ross or Margoria Sea and then mapping to a place to sell fish. This used to be the best fishing method as the sea gives you some of the best fishing speed. This still is the case but it does require you to have a boat or have an archaeologist map, which is a rare treasure item. Also on top of that, Magnus allows people to teleport even while holding fish. All players even in Velia can teleport and get the distant bonus when selling fish in Land of the Morning Light or Valencia, so you no longer have that advantage when you fish in the sea. All in all, fishing in the sea is still good and if you can do it that might be better, but it does require so many things and the silver per hour will not justify going for those items just for AFK fishing. Of course, if you already have a map and boat, feel free to fish in the sea, it's still really good. So all in all, is fishing still worth it in BDO? I would say that if you're able to get pretty close to this silver per hour, like 20 to 30 million silver per hour, AFK fishing can still honestly be a really great thing to do while AFK. The raw silver is honestly kind of comparable to some acts of processing and allows you to be AFK for 12 hours plus. If the milk and cheese markets are really bad, it can even compete with that, but usually milk and cheese processing will be better silver per hour, especially if you use the cheese. In general though, for most people, 20 to 30 million silver while AFK is still great. If you don't have any alternatives like long-term processing or horse training, AFK fishing is still great and a viable thing to do. So in conclusion, AFK fishing is still a nice and viable thing to do, adding around 35 million silver an hour at an endgame setup. It still is pretty cheap and easy to get into with different quality of life improvements that BDO has been doing. I would say to most players with decent inventory space and time to AFK, that AFK fishing is still definitely worth it. Just follow all these tips in this video and you'll be on your way to become an AFK fishing legend. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time.